언제나게 있어 숨해 모든 게다 통하니까 Feels like daydreamin' no I sit down man I love my life 사라지지 않아 이 전부 그 chemistry is no doubt Did you know that even though Aries season doesn't start until middle March, astrologically, Aries is actually the first sign of the zodiac. So technically speaking, whenever Aries season starts, it means the beginning of a new astrological year. I'll be honest, I don't know too much about horoscopes, but one thing I do know is that I'm surrounded by many Aries in my life, including Dom. So that means we got a week of celebration and yummy food. Before we get the weekend started, let's make a quick and easy brunch. I had some chicken wings in the fridge that he frosted last night. Marinate the chicken with salt and pepper, garlic powder, and paprika. Optional, but I decided to coat the chicken with a thin layer of cornstarch to make it extra crispy. Pan fry the chicken for 7 to 8 minutes until crispy and golden brown on both sides. Remove and set aside. The sauce is super easy. Add in butter, garlic, soy sauce, and honey. Once everything is melted, add back in the chicken and toss with sesame seeds. Now let's make a quick five minute salad dressing that is healthy and delicious. The star ingredient is grounded roasted sesame seeds. It adds an amazing nutty flavor. Mix with soy sauce, rice vinegar, sesame oil, black pepper, and a pinch of sugar. And just like that, a super satisfying and easy lunch is completed. I know! Ooh, this looks so good. Mm. Honey garlic chicken always hits the spot. Chef's kiss. This has been my favorite five minute salad dressing. The rosa sesame seeds makes it so good. It gives it like a nutty flavor. And the rice vinegar is a nice tang. It's so good, you need to give it a try. The perfect combo. I love adding apples to salads. It's so good. So after work today, I'm actually going to be going to Costco because my brother-in-law and Dom have very similar birthdays and I'm going to be making a huge dinner tomorrow. So we got to go to Costco to get all the supplies. Anyways, I'm going to finish lunch, finish work, and I'll see you guys at Costco. I've been really into herbal teas lately. I find that not only does it taste good, but it also improves your health from within, especially your skin. If you love glowing and youthful skin, try making the skin boosting herbal tea. I boiled goji berry, jujube, cinnamon, black bean, apple, and red sugar for 30 minutes. This tasted so good like a warm hug and all the ingredients are packed with so much nutrients. Since we got roasted chicken from Costco, I wanted to make a yummy chicken rice bowl. Let's start by making a quick turmeric rice. In a pot, add in butter, lots of garlic, basmati rice, and turmeric. Gently toast the rice so it soaks up all the delicious butter. Next, add in chicken stock. Bring it to a simmer, cover, and let it cook on low heat for 15 minutes. Every time I go to Costco, I have to pick up their roasted chicken. Honestly, such a good deal, and the chicken is always so juicy. Shred up the chicken and don't forget the chicken juice. Season with four seasoned scallion sauce, golden shallot oil, and white pepper. Mix well and this will taste like the roasted chicken you get from Jia Yi. If you know, you know. Now all you have to do is assemble. I like to top with salad, 
sweet and sour cucumber, and chicken on top. So easy and so delicious. Hi dong! Ooh, mixed together. Mmm. <laughs> oh wow. It's mm. so random, but it just works, right? Mm hmm. Mmm. <laughs> I am starving, so I quickly made a quick smoothie before we start cooking. <sighs> For lunch, I'm making my 10 minutes spicy sweet and sour eggs. Mix soy sauce, ketchup, rice vinegar, chili oil, sugar, garlic, cornstarch, and water. It is quick, easy, affordable, the perfect balance between spicy, sweet, and tangy. Pan fry eggs for two to three minutes or until nice and crispy. Next, pour in the sauce. Let it simmer for around two to three minutes or until the sauce has thickened. Garnish with cilantro, green onion, and sesame seeds. Serve on top of hot rice and you got the perfect meal in 10 minutes. Kaido! I'm so hungry and this smells so good. Mm. I can't believe this only took 10 minutes. It's so good. Mm. Anyways, today we're celebrating my brother-in-law as well as Dom's birthday. So I'm going to be making a huge feast. I'm combining two of my favorite things, Taiwanese beef noodle soup and tacos. It's my first time making it, so hopefully it turns out good. Anyways, I'm going to quickly finish brunch because we got lots of cooking to do. Every year, I cook my brother-in-law a birthday dinner, and this year, he was craving beef noodle soup and tacos. So I figured why not combine both and make a delicious fusion Taiwanese beef tacos. Other than Taiwanese food, my favorite cuisine in the world is Mexican food. Every time I go to the States, I have to get Mexican food. It's packed with so much flavor, it's so fresh, and it always gets me craving for seconds. One of my dreams is to travel to Mexico one day and learn how to make authentic Mexican cuisine. I'll be honest, sometimes I get scared to share non-Asian food as I don't want to make it wrong or not do the food justice. I love making and trying other cultures' food and learning about the history behind the dish. Food is such a huge part in all of our lives and it really does bring everyone together. Another dish that I'm making is an easy air fryer Taiwanese street corn. Mix Japanese mayo, five spice powder, four seasoned scallion sauce, and mama's chili oil. We actually served this at our first pop-up in LA for Kai Dong and on the grill, and it was the crowd's favorite. Coat the corn with the sauce and air fry at 380 for 10 minutes. That it smells so good. I have to give it a try. Mm. I'm speechless. Oh, mm. this is so good. And the fact that you can make this in the air fryer in less than 20 minutes, make this for your next dinner party. Trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me. It's so good. Okay, I'm gonna quickly finish this corn because they're coming in one hour and the house smells so good right now. After slow cooking the beef for two and a half hours, the beef is now so tender and packed with so much flavor. It soaked up all the delicious flavor from the bop and by blending all the spices and ingredients together, it really infused everything inside and tenderized the meat. Now all we have to do is assemble and we're ready to eat.
The beauty about fusion food is how it combines the flavors and techniques of both cultures. And as a result, something beautiful is formed. I cannot tell you how happy and excited I was about this dish. A literal dream come true. Since I made some fresh made bread on Sunday, I wanted to quickly make another delicious fusion dish that I love so much, chili oil Turkish eggs. Mix Greek yogurt, fresh dill, lemon zest, salt and pepper, and garlic. This sauce is so refreshing and delicious. Next, I toasted my olive bread until nice and golden brown. A quick tip to poach the perfect egg, add a little bit of vinegar in the water. In a pan, add in butter and chili oil. Now all we have to do is assemble. Like, look at that delicious egg yolk. I haven't worn these boots in so long. Hopefully they are comfy for the night because we're going to a few different places tonight. Let's go. Ready to go and off to Dom and Andrew's birthday dinner. One question I get asked all the time is, when are you and Dom planning to have kids? And I won't lie, me and Dom, we definitely want to have kids in the future. In fact, I do want to have a kid in the next couple of years. But as I'm getting older, I'm also now learning to just take life one step at a time. Live in the moment and just enjoy life and spend time with the people that we love. Adult friendships are not easy to find and it actually requires a lot of hard work. But when you find those that you love doing life with, make sure to spend time with them and let them know that you love and appreciate them. Because life gets hectic. So before life gets even more busy, dress up, go out and enjoy a nice dinner. Celebrate your friends, catch up over a bottle of wine, have these young carefree nights and I really believe that when the time is right, it will happen. Instead of chasing for the future, I just want to live in the moment and enjoy life. Hi guys, good morning. It's Dom's birthday today. He's still sleeping, but we're going to a ninja park today. So I figured I'd make a quick yummy noodle brunch. That way we are energized for the park using all the leftovers from Thursday's dinner actually. I think I'm gonna do like a dry noodle dish. Sounds delicious, let's get cooking. <laughs>
Kaitong, Kaitong. Happy wow. birthday, babe. Thank you. Oh. Mmm. 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 That's really good. Oh, so good. <laughs> right here. <laughs> we're gonna quickly finish brunch and then we're gonna head out to the ninja park. It's so sunny today. Mm -hmm. I changed it to a t-shirt. It's very, very hot. See you guys later. Sweating like a crazy person, but it's a lot of fun. It's a good workout. Good workout, babe. Are you dying? Yeah. Oh, I beat him. <laughs> Thank you so much. We got eight different beers, so we can give it a try. For Dom's birthday dinner, he was craving lobster, and Costco actually had an amazing deal on both the whole lobster as well as lobster tail. So I'm making Dom a huge lobster birthday dinner while he takes a long bath because that ninja park was intense and we're both super sore. Chop off the lobster tail into bite-sized pieces and make sure not to throw away any of the shell because we're making a lobster broth. In a large pot, melt a lot of butter with some olive oil and saute lobster for 1-2 to two minutes, remove and set aside. In the same pot, add an onion, celery, carrots, and red pepper. Saute for 3-4 to four minutes or until the onion is translucent. Next, add in tomato paste, leek, salt and pepper, and flour. Mix well, making sure all the vegetables are coated. Next, add in the lobster head and add in lots of white wine. Finish off with sage and lobster broth. Cover and let it cook for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, remove the head and the herbs and blend everything together. Finish off with cream, chopped lobster, and you got a delicious lobster bisque. Of course, we couldn't forget our veggies, so let's make a simple burrata salad. Last but not least, our lobster pasta. Cook the pasta until al dente, melt lots of butter, and add in shallots and garlic. Saute for two to three minutes or until fragrant and add in the tomatoes. Once the tomato has softened, add in the lobster bisque from earlier, chop lobster, and add in the pasta and pasta water. Finish off with lots of Parmesan cheese and dinner is served. Wow. How's your lobster dinner? Mmm. It's delicious. 
the sauce is so creamy. I mm -hmm. use like the sauce from the soup. Oh really? The pasta mm -hmm. to make it like, extra flavorful. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday to my amazing husband and best friend. I know you're watching right now and I want to say that I love you and I'm so grateful to have you in my life. Here's to many more happy memories and yummy food. I hope you guys like this vlog and I'll see you next week. Bye!